Welcome to week 20 of our prayer journey. This week, we're going to pray for our spouse. Now, if you're not married, before you just skip over this video, you can still pray with us this week. If you don't have a partner and you want to get married, pray for that person before you even know who they are. If you are married, pray for your spouse that you have right now. If you were married and you've lost that one person that you'd shared your life with, thank God for the time you had with them. And if God has called you to a life of being single, thank God for calling you to that life of being single so that you can better serve him and ask him how he wants you to use the time that you would have otherwise lavished on a spouse. But no matter what your situation in life, you can pray this week in the same vein, in the same idea. Pray for that person that is closest to you. Ask God to be with them. Ask God to help you love them well. Ask God to give you a renewed sense of love and admiration for them every single day. That can be a challenge. When you live with somebody every day, you can definitely lose that sense of love and admiration at times. And that's because we're sinful. It's plain and simple. We have problems in marriages, even as believers, because we are filled with sin. Our hearts are still fallen. And so we need to ask God to focus us on loving our spouses the way he loves the church. We need to ask God to point out the sin in our own hearts. And one of the fastest ways to take our eyes off ourselves and what we think is our rights and what we want is to pray for someone else. So this week, lift up your spouse before the Lord. Lift them up and ask God to bless them. Ask God to help you to serve them well. Ask God to help you to love them well. Ask God to do for them their heart's desire, but also ask God to draw them so close to himself that their heart's desire would be his desire for their lives. And ask God to make your marriage strong so that your community your children, your church would have a good witness of what godly marriage can be when both parties to the marriage are living lives on fire for God and serving and loving one another with all their hearts.